from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Cuppy, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And we're back on this Wednesday, Wednesday with more of Today, and it's time to play our game we call Who Knew? With less than three weeks to go till Election Day, we thought it'd be a good time to brush up on your presidential history and debates. Kathy Lee's made her way across the street to the NBC Experience store. She's ready to hand out 100 bucks to those who get the questions right. And to those who don't, they're lucky enough to get a CD. That's good. Okay, helping me out over here is Sarah Jansen. She's the senior editor of the World Almanac. You must be smart. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to go across the street to Kath. We've got a great crowd here today. Okay, you're from New Jersey. I am. Which candidate had the highest electoral votes ever? President Reagan, President Clinton, President Kennedy, or President Nixon? I'm going to go with Reagan. That's exactly oh. right. <laughs> she she looks surprised but happy that she got that one right. Reagan, huh? She's definitely happy. Yeah, yeah it was actually a landslide. He mm -hmm. won all but one state, and it was coincidentally the home state of his opponent, Walter Mondale. This is the 1984 election. Wow. Okay. Back across the street to Cap. Lovely lady from the swing state of Virginia. <laughs> all right. Republican candidate Governor Romney was the governor of which state? Oh, give this one away. Michigan. <laughs> let's not even go through it. What was it? Massachusetts. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> She's got it right. Yeah, we've been hearing a lot about Massachusetts lately. We've been hearing uh -huh. a lot about Massachusetts and a little bit about Mitt Romney yeah. also. Yeah, I would He's say been around so. a little bit. Yeah. He started his business in Massachusetts. Yep. He went to grad school there and then he served as governor. Okay. All right, back across to Kath. I love this lady. She's from Arkansas and she desperately wants to win a lullaby album, so I'm hoping she's really stupid. Okay. <laughs> Republican candidate. Oh. I'm the stupid one. Well, I could answer that yeah, one. Yeah, this, this is your card. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. How many electoral votes are needed to win the presidency? 200, 150, 250, or 270? 250? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's joyful that she she's lost. She's CD. <laughs> All right. Yay, lucky her. All right. Anyway, the correct answer, 270. 270. Yeah. So she was close. And this is something that people get confused about. Yeah. But the Electoral College is actually really simple. We explained it in the World Almanac. You just need those 270 votes that happen in January. Mm -hmm. And then you win the presidency. Okay, 270 is the magic number. Back across to Cap. Another swing stater from Virginia who's coming to see us at Scandalous tonight. I'm so excited about it. Okay. How did the donkey symbol, this is unbelievable, for the Democratic Party originate? A, because Democrats like donkeys. Now, all right. B, donkey and Democrat both start with the letter D. Opponents labeled Andrew Jackson as a jack, and it's stuck, or none of the above? Oh, gosh. I would get this kind of question. Um, I don't know. I'll say D, none of the above. You're not going to believe this one. No, the correct answer is opponents labeled Andrew Jackson as, I think we can say jackass. I think it's okay. Okay. And it's stuck. <laughs> and it's stuck. It's true. He did not have a lot of fans in that election. And, you know, they started drawing all of these political cartoons that had him depicted as a donkey or a uh -huh. jackass because they did not like him. Okay. <laughs> and it's stuck. All right. Go back across I to I wonder Cass. if people are considering their, their party affiliation right now. I never knew that. Okay. Well, you're from Arkansas. Louisiana. Louisiana. Exactly. I'm very stupid today. Which was the first presidential debate broadcast on TV? Was it Nixon versus Kennedy? Reagan versus Mondale? Bush versus Gore or Roosevelt versus Hoover? Oh my God. Um, um, Reagan? No, it's a good thing. Uh, yeah. It's, all right. The correct answer is the famous Nixon Kennedy debate with the sweat on the, on yes. the upper lip. Yeah. And famous for a reason. You know, this was the first debate on television. And people who listened to it on the radio, they thought that Nixon had won. Yeah. But if you saw it on television, you saw sweaty Nixon next to young, handsome Kennedy. Yeah. There's no contest. Oh, wow. I know. Power of TV. Power of TV. Thank you very much for joining us. You guys, Kathy Lee's going to come back across the street. Lou Manfredini has 